Yo, what is up guys? Pyroto here. Welcome back to another video. Right now we're here in the Reptile Room, but we're not going to be in the Reptile Room for very long in this video. First things first, I want to throw y'all just a little bit of footage I got at the Longview Reptile Expo. A Herps Longview, to be more specific. Pretty decent show. Just wanted to show you some of the things I saw there. It'll be really quick, then we'll continue on with the rest of the video, so go check out that footage. Yo, I just had to point this out, guys. It's two arch nemesis, Coco Boss versus Red to Chip. Go with Red to Chip, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, Red to Chip is so, so, so much better. Go with Red to Chip. They're so cool how they have them all set up. See, look at those the blue vipers right there. It's just chilling. So it's all venomous, as you can see. I think that's so awesome. Oh, isn't that neat? Look at that cage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from the Longview show. Let me know, what did y'all think? I also personally really like that snake trailer setup that they had going on there with the venomous snakes, the rattlesnakes, all that super, super cool. Uh, let me know what y'all thought about that and let's continue on with today's video. First thing I wanted to show you guys is Scales and Jar Jar. This is their 20 gallon um, enc enclosure that I have going on for them. They've got UV and heat up there and then an LED bulb just for extra light up there. So that is super dope. They got a screen lid up top, a regular glass, of course, 20 gallon, warning, protected by a killer turtle, oh no. Then it's got their scientific names and all that good stuff. You can kind of see Scales is chilling up there on his basking rock, rock, on his basking rock. Jar Jar is somewhere in the sand because that's basically where he spends his time. But they're getting way too big for this 20 gallon enclosure. I need this enclosure empty to get a new animal in there. So the main thing we're going to be doing in today's video is getting them out of there and into a new, much larger enclosure. Here we are. So guys, this is where I was wanting to show you. This is our turtle setup that... What the... What the heck? That's weird, guys. Let's just, let's just go. Oh my god, that was... What, what is going on here? Oh my... Oh my god. Alright, whatever that was... That was, that was terrifying. Let's just pray we don't see that creature or whatever that was again and let's just continue on with the build. Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, so this is our turtle setup. Now, obviously, if y'all watched the previous video, Gamera was previously in this enclosure. Now, he is not. As a matter of fact, this enclosure is almost completely drained and we need to tilt this the other way just so we can have it start draining out just like that. That enclosure is going to drain completely. I'm going to also drain that side right there as well. And we're going to clean out those bricks, clean out some of the gunk in there, and we're going to get it all set up for Scales and Jar Jar, our two turtles. Because obviously they're currently in the 20 gallon. This is a 40 gallon, which is a much, much larger size. What I potentially plan on doing is draining this side, filling it with sand, and then leaving this water, or vice versa, just keeping the whole part water and just leaving bricks. I'll think about that as we go to set it up. That is the most important thing that we need to get done today. While that is draining, ladies and gentlemen, sorry if it's windy, we're going to walk over to Gamera's setup so we can see how he is doing. 
Oh, there he is. You might be able to see him right there. There's his shell. Let's see if we can get him out of the water for you guys. There's Gamera, our big boy. He is enjoying his enclosure very, very much. Now, as you can see, pretty soon after I got his tub set up, it had an algae bloom. Let's get that leaf out of there. Which is to be expected. These enclosures get algae blooms so easily, especially it being a hot summer Texas day. So that's all right, and it's continuing to filter. It's doing really well. The water, as you can see, is coming out clear. It's just, of course, the algae. All right, as you can see, we've got it drained down quite a bit. I'm gonna rinse this filter out a little bit. I'm gonna rinse the tubing out, clean that all out. Then I already cleaned that out, drained a lot of that out. I'm gonna fill it up, hose down the side, then I'm gonna fill it up um, and get it as clear as possible. And then I will start to add scales and jar jar. All right, what I have going on right now, as you can see, is I've got one hose draining out some of that cloudy water down and out and around to the yard. And then I have another hose pushing in fresh water so that'll help clean out all that cloudy, gunky water. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been about 30 minutes, as you can see. All this is drained out, as you can see. It's a little bit more clear. You can see through it a little bit better. Now, it's still cloudy, but it'll have to cycle over some time. I also added this filter in right there just for a little extra filtration on that side. And then of course we've got our canister filter that does up to 40 gallons as well. And this isn't completely filled up either. So once again we've got over filtration. But it's always better to have over filtration for your turtles and tortoises. Or I should say turtles than under filtration because turtles are really really nasty animals. So now that this is all set up, let me know if you have any suggestions or things I can add. Obviously, I don't need any heat or UVB as of now because during the day it gets fresh sunlight um, and fresh heat out here in Texas. Now during the summer, that'll change, obviously. But let me know if you have any suggestions with the enclosure, how I should have it set up, what I should do to it, etc. But now, let's go get the turtles and add them in here. All right, so there's Jar Jar, our soft shell turtle. Let's see if we can try to catch that dude. All right, there's Jar Jar. You can kind of see his size. We'll let him in there for a second. Now, we don't want to let them dry out. These guys are a lot more sensitive and fragile than regular red-haired sliders, which is what Scales is. But let's go ahead and grab Scales right now. And here's Scales, our red-haired slider. I actually got this guy as a rescue. Um, he was a little tiny baby, about the size of a quarter. And he was found out in the pond. And obviously, more than likely, he would have been eaten or he would not have been making it. So we took him and he is doing really well to this day. Let's just scoop these guys over. So you can see they're similar size. Now let's go ahead and take them out before they can freak out too much. Alrighty, so we'll get scales first. Let me know what y'all think of how this is going to go for them. There he goes and he is gone. Next we've got Jar Jar here. We'll set him in and let him go off on his own. Boom, there he goes. Now keep in mind there's sand on the bottom for a reason. Soft shell turtles love sand as opposed to gravel. They like to bury it, burrow in it, and it helps them burrow a little bit better than gravel would. So that's why there's sand at the bottom. It, look, it, oh, there goes scales. So yeah, this is their new 40 gallon turtle setup. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now that Scales and Jar Jar are out of that 20 gallon, off camera obviously, I'm gonna clean it out, break it down, and get it set up for a different animal. And then those fish right there, guys, do not worry about those. I'm gonna acclimate those outside as well. So uh, don't think I'm just gonna get rid of them or anything like that. They will be going outside, I'm just doing it off camera. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am exhausted. It has been a long week, and I've still got so much to get done this week. So I'm gonna close out the video here. First things first, before I head out, make sure to go check out Amo Exotics. This is where I have some of my animals posted. I'm also going to be adding more. As a matter of fact, I added three Crested Geckos, sold them, and now I plan to add some more. So stay tuned for that. Next, make sure to go follow my Instagram, the Real Pyrotoad YT. Hey, maybe I'll put some more pictures of this little guy on my Instagram. So if you want to see cute dog pics, go check out my Instagram for sure. Now, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to leave a like on this video. It lets me know how I did and if y'all enjoyed this video. And let me know if I should do more like that. So definitely make sure to drop a like. And ladies and gentlemen, lastly, but most certainly not least, make sure to subscribe. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. From there, we'll hit 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, and so on. So please subscribe. Help me get to 2,000. I greatly appreciate it. I love you guys. You guys have given me so much support on all of my videos, not just one or the other on all of them but i really appreciate it let me know what y'all thought of this turtle setup and i will see you all in the next one peace